So this afternoon I'm working on a project for building a hoist which will be used for storing a canoe in the garage. So this here is the garage and this canoe is normally stored here in our garage and it's normally suspended um, from those ropes up there. The design works with this canoe being flipped over and the canoe sitting on either end on this piece of wood here as well as this other piece of wood over here which is the same and then these pieces of rope are connected up with a pulley system up here so when you pull on this rope which is over here the two pieces of wood are lifted up and then the rope is fastened and then the canoe spends its time sitting up there while it's not being used however the problem with this current system is that although it's very easy for me to pull down on this rope here and lift these pieces of wood up um, it's a totally different story when there's the weight of a canoe pressing down on these pieces of wood. Uh, the force to pull down on this string here is so great uh, when there's a canoe there that it's greater than the, the weight of a person. Um, so it's very, very difficult to actually be able to use this current hoist uh, to lift a canoe up. So my job for today is to redesign the system so that the force to pull down here is much less so that the system can be used the way it's supposed to be used. And I've just drawn up my idea for what my new design is going to be. But first I'll just review my picture of the old design here. So you've got these two pieces of wood down here which are fastened by strings from the two ends of the canoe um, sit in there. And then those strings are pulled up through these two pulleys which are up there. And there's two pieces of rope and both pieces of ropes are then tied uh, there at the top. And then somebody stands here and they pull on that string and then this loop here gets uh, uh, hooked into this hook which is down here and that's what holds the uh, the canoe up in place the new design looks like this so it consists of a pulley up there a pulley up there another pulley there and two pulleys down here and it just has one long piece of string which does the whole thing um, so this piece of string starts um, being tied to a hook uh, which is attached to the rafters up there then it comes down it goes through this first pulley down here then it comes up, goes through that pulley, this pulley, then down again, into there, up, and then that's where you pull on it. So the reason that this design, as opposed to this design, is going to mean that you're going to put a lot less force into pulling on here, is because the same amount of work is being done, um, the canoe is getting pulled up the same distance, however, you need to pull on the string for a lot more distance. Um, I estimate about four times as much distance as you did with this one here, um, because the string has to travel so much further and I've done some calculations to verify that. So with the existing we've got this here which is a simplified picture of a canoe and uh, we're assuming that things are very symmetrical here so you've got uh, your force of gravity FG which is pulling down on the canoe that's the weight uh, being pulled towards the center of the earth and then you've got your two uh, supports there which we assume are approximately symmetrical and we can assume that uh, both supports take half of the load so both of them are half of FG uh, so when added together um, they equal the total force of gravity um, so the tension in the strings there is half FG in each one of those strings um, and then up here uh, you've, you can see that those same forces are being pulled the force of tension is being pulled on this string downward and it goes through the pulleys and as you can see over here, um, you've got the two strings now being joined back together. So you've got half FG plus half FG is equal to FG. So the force you need to exert um, on the string to pull it down um, is actually the same force as the force of the canoe. So just out of interest, I weighed the canoe and I figured out that it weighs about 55.5 pounds or 25 kilograms. Uh, so when you multiply that by the acceleration uh, towards the earth, the gravity force, um, it works out to about uh, 245.3 newtons. So that's what so that's what the force of gravity in this picture here is. So the force that you're required to pull down this string is about 245.3 newtons. And I was mistaken when I said that that's more than the weight of a person, um, but it's more than it's comfortable to be pulling down on a rope from what I've observed. So with the new design here, um, it starts out with the same simplified picture of a canoe, uh, the force of gravity being divided into the two different supports. However, when you have the pulleys, it then gets divided again into being a quarter of the force of gravity um, and the tension of the main pieces of string, which are here. 
So as it works out, the force of tension, which is on this piece of rope here, and the force that you need to pull on to be able to hoist the canoe, is a quarter of the force of gravity. Um, so up here we saw the force of gravity was 245.3 newtons, and a quarter of that is 61.35. And a quick way to verify that is something that my university instructor in physics used to call the conservation of string principle. Um, so over here, to be able to pull uh, the canoe up, the amount of string that you need to pull over here is just the distance from down here uh, to up here. Uh, when you pull on this string, it's pulling both of these at the same time. So the distance of string you need to pull from here is just one of these distances from up here to up here. However, in this one, you need to be able to pull through one, two, three, and four. So four times as much string needs to be pulled through to be able to hoist the canoe up. So that means the force, since it's being exerted over four times the distance, is one quarter um, of the original force. So yesterday I spent some time gathering together and buying all the parts which I'm going to need to this project. So now that I've got my design uh, pretty much all figured out and my calculations are, are confirmed and verified, um, I'm ready to get down to business of actually um, building this. So now I've got all my hardware that needs to be installed up to the rafters in place here. So I've got those two pulleys which go down at this end, then over here at this end, I've got another pulley which is right there, and then I've got a hook there uh, which is actually just left over from before. That's where I'm going to tie the end of the rope to. Um, for where the canoe attaches, I've got the same pieces of wood that I had before. The only difference I've made, instead of tying it to a piece of string, I've got my two other pulleys, which are sitting there at the end, uh, which are going to receive the string that goes through. So, now the next step is to add the string and thread it through and see how the system works. So I've got my rope threaded through now, and it's pretty much working the way it's supposed to be. There is one minor issue that I'm seeing with it so far, but I don't think it's going to be an issue once I put the canoe on. As you see, when I start to pull on this rope here, this piece of wood starts to rise immediately where the other one just sits there until I've gotten this all the way to the top. Only until then does the other side start to raise. And I think, well, the reason it is is because the rope between here and there, there's a lot more friction between uh, that pulley and my hands here where between this rope and that piece of wood there, there's only basically one pulley that has to go through. Um, so the friction isn't balanced between the two. However, I think that's only a factor now because the only weight that's on this system is the weight of these pieces of wood. I think once I have the actual canoe on there, it'll be very much balanced between the two and hopefully it'll rise at basically the same rate. Um, I'm gonna put the canoe on now and uh, see how she works. All right, I've got the canoe here. All the ropes are hooked up. Let's see if she works.
So as you saw, it didn't exactly go up at the same rate on both sides. Uh, this side was always leading, uh, but it really didn't end up being that much of a problem because this side would go up a little bit and then I could just hold the rope in place and then just level things out and get it straight again. This side would go up again, then just level it and just kept doing that and it made it all the way up. Um, you know, it really wasn't a problem. You really don't want it to be tilting way, way, way to one of the two sides because just the way that it's attached at the ends there, you don't want, you know, one of those pieces of wood um, to, to slide off the end and, you know, have the canoe fall. Uh, so it just really wasn't a problem though. I think it's pretty manageable as it is. Uh, really, I don't know if there's much way to actually avoid um, that happening. Uh, the only way I can really think of would be if, uh, you know, I was to position the, uh, the pieces of wood so that they were kind of offset so that naturally um, the side closer uh, to where the string is is pulling less load so that probably go up at about the same rate. Um, but really, what we got there seems to work pretty well. There's only one more thing I've got to do to it uh, to finish the project. So with the existing system, what we had for holding the canoe once it was in place was this hook here on the wall. So the way it worked is the hook, uh, when the ropes were all the way down, would be sitting up there at the, the pulley. And then once you pulled it down, since the distance you needed to pull it was only the distance from there to there, then this hook would be right there and you just hook it on like that. But it wouldn't make sense to have a loop up there because you need to pull this rope four times as far as you did with the other ropes since the uh, mechanical advantage. So what I'm going to do now is install one of these things, which is a, a tie-off point for a boat. I'm just going to install it to the wall here where that hook was. And that's what we're going to use uh, once we pulled the rope all the way up and we have the canoe where we want it. Then we're going to tie the rope off to here and it should be secure and should stay up there uh, until the next time we need the canoe. So there that is installed. So all you got to do now is after you've got your canoe pulled up to the height you want it, and you bring the string up and you sort of just do a figure eight pattern through it and that'll pretty much lock the string in place like that. So we'll just do one more test of it and uh, then lock the canoe in place and we'll leave it there. So as you can see this project was quite successful, you're now able to hoist the canoe uh, with only one person standing right there and they're able to tie it right up um, all in one go. So I hope you enjoyed this video watching me work on this project. Thanks for watching.